festival like no other. The Yellow Spring Street Fair is just days away. And the town, well, it's getting ready for hundreds of visitors. Joining us live, Karen Wintrow, the executive director of the Yellow Springs Chamber. So good to see you again. Good to see you, Sean. A lot of people are excited about this, as they should. People pouring into Yellow Springs. I know you guys are definitely ready for it, too. We're ready, and uh, we, uh, we're really excited. Um, street Fair is basically is a microcosm of Yellow Springs yeah. in an eight-hour period of time. We've got shopping, we've got great food, yeah. we've got entertainment, um, just everything that people love about Yellow Springs already. Oh, definitely, definitely. So how long has this been going on? It's about 30 years. Um, it started as a sidewalk sale. It just keeps growing. We're really not growing it now, but we're just keep trying to make it better. Oh, and talking about making it better, let's talk about what's new for this year. The newest thing and the thing we're most excited about is our, um, we've had a beer garden for a while, but now it's really going to be focused on Yellow Springs Brewery and craft beer. We're working with Bond Bright Distributors and Yellow Springs Brewery, so we'll yeah. have, I think, nine selections of craft beer. Most of them will be local, and we're going to have a, a gluten-free cider, so we're really going to have a great, uh, a great selection of craft beer, local, locally made, which right. is really all about Yellow Springs. Yeah, Yellow Springs Brewery, I mean, they've, they've opened up, what, was a couple years ago? Yeah. They're doing so well. They're they doing incredibly stuff. well. Yeah, they have their, they have their truck now that's going to be down there. Yeah. Along with the music festival, it starts at noon and lasts until 7. So that's when people get a little tired of the shopping and walking um, up and looking at the booths, and they can go down to, um, to the music and beer fest. Right. It's nonstop. You, you're, you're essentially going to be able to uh, experience everything that Yellow Springs has to offer all in one day. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. So we're talking about all these folks coming into town. As we talked about, it gets bigger and bigger pretty much every year. Um, how, what kind of economic impact does it have for your community? Well, for, for our downtown businesses, it is um, typically the largest day. We actually have two street fairs. We have one June, uh, second Saturday in June and second Saturday in October. And those mm -hmm. are typically... Um, the, the most profitable days for our businesses. Um, so it's not only, it, it's the businesses that are downtown already. Yep. Um, for the vendors, obviously, a lot of people come in, the vendors do well. It's a great fundraiser for our nonprofits, and, and Yellow Springs has a lot of nonprofits. Our Boy Scouts have a, um, and PTO do a, a parking lot. So we really feel like it's a great opportunity for the entire community mm -hmm. to, to show themselves and to, to use it as a way either to make money or yeah. to expose their their Sure. Well, it's a platform. It's exposure Absolutely. for them, too. Uh, I tell you what, you're just segueing each thing for me. You were talking about parking. Let's talk about parking. For those that have been there, this can be some time a little bit of a headache for them. So what, what are we doing to take care of parking this year? Well, we have shuttles. We've had shuttles for a while. They're free. Um, the uh, Soin shuttle is at uh, Yellow Springs High School, which is on East Enon Road, right off of Dayton Yellow Springs Road. That brings you right down to the heart of Street Fair. The Green Memorial shuttle goes out to Young's Dairy. So we really advise people to use that shuttle service and to just kind of eliminate the eliminate the parking in town. There are some paid parking lots. Um, another new thing this, well, it's not new this year, but we're, we're continuing it is the bike valet. We have a free bike valet. So you can ride your bike to street fair. Okay. We're right on the the Little Miami Scenic Trail, so it's an easy and fun way to get to Street Fair. I'm just worried about who's going to drive my bike back. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> after the party, yes, that's true. That's true. Um, but all of that information is on our website, yellowspringsohio.org. Okay. Uh, before we do go, I have to point out because I told you every time I, I love your T-shirts, and I had to notice yes. you have yours on today, but I don't see any yellow on it. I know. We just, you know, we're yellow. Changing we've got yellow up. in our name. Yeah, yeah. We actually, we've only done yellow a couple of times. We did a yellow shirt that did that that yeah we I did like one yellow color. shirt yeah I like this we're, we're very happy with this shirt. now they can get one out there absolutely we've got lots of t-shirts they're collectors items yes. you gotta know yes. okay again real quick the details we can come out this Saturday from 9 to 5 but then there's a band playing from noon to right 7. yeah the, the music fest lasts from noon until 7 okay uh, and then of course you can take that shuttle uh, which would be the best way to it do will it. be there till 7 right the only other thing I need to say no pets no pets it is not a comfortable yeah. Um, environment for animals. Do not bring your dogs, don't bring your pigs, don't bring your pets. <laughs> well, hopefully yeah. those pigs from Xenia won't show up. I hope they find them. Uh, Karen, thanks so much for coming <laughs> okay. on and sharing these details with us. We do appreciate it. Great. A lot thanks of fun's going to be happening this very weekend. Katie? Thanks.